All right, so we're going to continue working on the 2015 MacBook Air motherboard. This is the A20-00165. I started working on this one on Saturday, but uh, I got very busy. I had to leave it on the side, and today is Monday. We're going to finish working on this board. Now, let's go over what was done quickly. The first thing I did is I realized that there is a blown fuse. The backlight fuse was blown, and we also had corrosion on these two pins here. This and this. Uh, one of the pins is ground and the other one is 3.3 volts. So probably there was some type of short between those two pins which caused the fuse to blow. Rewiring the fuse, cleaning the LVDS connector did not solve the problem. I tried another screen and we still have no backlight. Since this pin here, the 3.3 volt pin had corrosion that linked to the ground pin, I have a reason to believe that uh, we may have an LVDS connector problem. So we're going to go ahead and replace this connector go ahead and start by applying flux and then I'll apply a little bit of low melt solder remove the connector clean up and solder a new connector in place today we have uh, one two three four MacBooks that came in two of them do not turn on one of them is stuck at a white screen and the other one is beeping three times so I'll see if I can get any of those done today and the connector is out Now, there are a lot of ways to solder this connector in place. One of the ways is to pre-apply solder onto the pads and reflow everything down in place. And that's a very good way. The other way is to solder the pins in the front and the sides. And that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And a third way would be to use solder paste, which I do not recommend because if you're not careful, solder paste can flow to other components on the board and you'll be into fixing a lot of mess on the board. I've done that on an iPad mini FTC connector and I have a video on that one. Just look up iPad mini solder paste. I'm going to start by applying solder onto the sides. We do not need to apply a lot, just a tiny bit. If we apply a lot of solder onto the sides, and solder got inside the connector, it's game over. We have to change the whole connector again. So we have to be careful.
the job is done. We're going to put the board back inside the laptop and hopefully we have a backlight. Let's see. Still no backlight. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try another screen. Everything is testing good, but we still do not have a backlight. Eight point five volts. Eight point five volts. Okay, let's test pin number three of the LVDS connector just to make sure there's a connection between this and the capacitor for the backlight. And we are getting eight point five five, which is good. We are getting 8.55. I mean, it's good in a way where voltage is reaching, but the booster is not working. So this side of the board is good. There's nothing wrong with this side of the board. The next thing I want to look into is the feedback line. I want to see if we have a continuous line from here all the way up to here via this XW7720. If we do not have a continuous connection, then boosting will not occur and we will not have a backlight. So uh, how do we check for this? It's a little bit tricky. What we have to do is we have to scratch the board to expose that pad. And then we have to see if that pad is making a good connection with the line that connects all the way up to D7701. So this is the part I scratched and this part is coming from back of the board. This pad is coming from back of the board. And it should be connecting to this line here. So from what I can tell, the connection is broken. Let's scratch this line a bit. Let's apply some flux and maybe we can run a wire to connect both the pad and the line.
Okay, let's see if we can run a wire from this tiny dot here. Very good. And maybe we can do this. And that's it. All we need to do is cut this wire. So, moment of truth. Connect the screen. Anything else? That's it. Let's see. And yes. Backlight is working. So finally, it's fixed. We'll put it back together, call the customer to come and pick up. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.